Hallelujah. If you are alive and well to see the tenth month of the year, and you are grateful to God that He has done you well, not your neighbor, He has done you well. Lift your two hands, lift your voice, and shout the loudest hallelujah. And as we start this new month with a prophetic celebration, I'd like you to receive this word from the Lord in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 20, 21, and 23. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 21, please. Let's go on to 21, 22, 23. Read that scripture one to go. Therefore, let no man glory in men. What? All things are yours. The loudest amen, your due that you missed January to now. Everything will land on your head this month in the name of Jesus God. Now let's go. Whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world or life or death or things present or things to come, the loudest you can. What? All things are yours. And then the last verse, one to go. And ye are in Christ. And Christ in God. Whatever you missed January to now, starting from this great day of favor, the loudest amen, they will all land on your head in the name of Jesus Christ. Even if the fig tree has not blossomed, even if nothing has happened, God still works wonders and prayers. Anything can happen from this morning. I say everything will happen for you this morning. Scream the loudest, amen, your due shall go back home with you. He said, I told the Lord, 2019 must be the year of perfection for me. I don't know how you are going to do it. He said, I'm March, he got married. And then, next thing, he was promoted. And then this morning, or this week, he became a graduate of him, him so whatever the packages you have been waiting for the loudest amen by favor one by one they will land for you <laughs> lift up your two hands and celebrate god in expectation all things are mine i'm not disappointed i'm too sure i'm the next in line let echo tanama i'm too sure i'm not giving up i'm not letting go you have brought me to my own mouth all things are mine god still works wonders all things are mine. I'm not envying any man. I'm not disturbed by whatever any man has done. I know I'm due this month. I shall not be deprived. It's my time. It's my turn. All things are mine. Healing is mine. Breakthrough is mine. Visitation is mine. Liberation is mine. My wife must conceive this month. All things are mine. Lift your voice and celebrate him in expectation. Thank you and thank you. You've done so much for me. Celebrate him, come on. When you heal, you heal completely. Come on, God of perfection, God of completion. Lord of Oshakatabaya.
celebrated. All that he did in this church last Sunday. Maladabo Zakatamaya. El Ketona Maladabo Lanier. Ladabo Zaga. Thank you and thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we have celebrated. How many were in church last Sunday with Bishop David Abiyo? How many saw what God did last Sunday? How many saw the mighty things God did last Sunday? If you are excited, scream the loudest. Hallelujah. God practically doubled this church last Sunday. If you are excited, put your big, big, big hands together for the Lord. Father, we have returned with lots of gratitude. Plenty of appreciation. For what you have done for us as a people the last nine months of the year which culminated in the visit of your servant last sunday the loudest amen accept our thanks and praises i said the louder hallelujah accept our appreciation this morning whatever you did last sunday lord let that be the beginning of miracles for this entire assembly thank you for the outburst of miracles for the outburst of increase for the outburst of enlargement the loudest amen shall be forward ever backward never from now lord do in our midst again and again god of repeated performances you have visited us now visit us again in the name of jesus and the loudest amen we are major partakers together send your word with power do wonders in our midst and we vow to give you all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. The loudest amen has the largest package this morning. Put your big, big hands together for the Lord. Give God a shout of praise. Please be seated. Praise God. Tell your neighbor congratulations again and again. I still spoke to God's servant this morning. And he sent his greetings to everyone for a wonderful visitation and the blessing of God that has come your way by that visit a loud amen it shall be permanent in the name of Jesus Christ now declare with me God still works wonders through praise make it the loudest God still works wonders through praise now scream it God still works wonders through praise it's our covenant day of favor and God is saying, you can praise your way into favor wonders from God. You can praise your way to see God work out the wonders of favor in your life. Wonder packages and a major one is faith. That what everybody has found you will never get is your own it must come your way this week what they have been fighting you will never touch it's your own god will bypass them a louder amen and deliver it into your hands you can praise your way so we are not here all through this month to just teach praise to just talk praise we're here to practice praise we're here to partake of praise that's why in Psalm 67, verse 5 to 7, praise is not just an advice, it's a command. It's a commandment. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Then God will come down. And the earth shall hear the increase. And God come down. Even our God shall come and bless us. God shall bless us. A loud amen. Men will see and fear your God. So we are praising our way to see God come down. Come down to blast open all the closed doors and you are walking through. God come down to wrestle out of your contenders and deliver your package into your hands. I'm speaking prophetically to somebody. All the gates that have closed against you till now, all the doors that have closed against you till now, by a prophetic trumpet, the two leap gates are open now in the name of Jesus God. The gates will never be shut against you. I say your two-leaf gates is already open this morning. 
I said the gate will never be shut against you. Everything that belongs to you, the loudest amen is coming to you right now. In Isaiah 45 verse 1, Isaiah 45 verse 1, speaking prophetically, the Lord saying, this month, everything that won't let you go must go for your sake. Read that scripture, the loudest you can want to go. Thus said the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have holding, to subdue nations before him. What? And I will lose the loins of kings to open before him the two leaf gates, and the gates shall not be sure. Scream the loudest amen, no more barrier in your destiny from now. I said the louder amen, no more limitation to your advancement from now. I said the screaming amen, no more barrier will stop your going forward. In the name of Jesus Christ, say a louder amen. In a prophetic trumpet service like this, prophetic entrance service what exactly does that mean one prophetically you are entering to your next levels prophetically your captivities have been torn this morning prophetically you are riding on the wings of prophecy to take what belongs to you it's favor god is talking about now you are stepping into your favor dimension prophetically. All your labors of all the years that look like nothing is happening. A loud amen it shall be delivered to you. It's a prophetic entrance service. That means as we enter the mall, it means prophetic help will answer for you. In Ezra chapter 5, verse 1 and 2, he said the prophets were there helping them. You can't have prophets over your life. As I was, said, the prophets Hagar, Zechariah, they prophesied unto the Jews in Judea and Jerusalem in the name of the Lord. And then verse 2, very clearly, one to go. Then rose Zerubbabel, the son of Shetel, and Joshua, the son of Shetel. And they began to build the house of the Lord, which was in Jerusalem. And with them, what? Well, the prophets of God helping them. Lift your two hands and declare, Lord, I receive prophetic helps today. I receive prophetic helps today. I can't have prophets over my life and be struggling again. I receive prophetic helps today. Thank you and thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. Say the loudest, Amen. Our running series every Sunday throughout this month is titled Engaging the Power of Praise for Supernatural Turnaround. Engaging the Power of Praise. For supernatural turn around and i'm taking part 1a of that message everything must turn for you from today habakkuk chapter 3 17 18 and 19 habakkuk chapter 3 17 18 and 19 said although nothing has happened till now although on your labor no results although your field has hidden no fruit although the flocks they won't cut off your name from the list in fact there is no money in your bank account although nothing has happened then verse 18, very warm, strong one. Read with me. One, two, go. Yet, I will rejoice in the Lord my God. I will joy in the God of my salvation. And then the loudest you can, verse, 11, verse 19. One, two, go. Walk upon my high places. Say a loud amen. That shall be your Lord from now. On. Make that amen is coming one if you are alive there. <laughs> Even if nothing has happened, he said, Yet. I will rejoice. So, in spite of the past, you can rejoice your way to the next levels. The confrontations not will not be standing. You can celebrate your way to a new dawn. Forget the past, lest you pass away with it. Forget what has not happened, lest you are caught down with it. Rejoice your way. New things will answer for you from now. I'm not here. You're allowed to say, man. I'm not here to say amen. amen. So praise is what you do when you don't know what else to do. Praise is what you do when you don't know what else to do. Three warring nations came against Jehoshaphat in contention, in attack on every side. And in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, Verse 12 to 14. Second Chronicles 20, verse 12 to 14. He cried out to God. Oh God, will you not help us? 
We have no might against this company against us. Neither know we what to do. Our eyes are on you. We don't even know what to do. And prophetic help now came. You can't fight them on your own. Appoint singers and turn the battle over to the Lord. And as they began to sing from verse 20, it said they arose up early in the morning from verse 20 in the wilderness. And they stood before the Lord. And he said, believe the Lord your God. Things will change for you. Say amen. And verse 21 says, and when they consulted the people, they appointed singers. You are going to battle? He said, start singing. You are going to, walk, to pass the exam? He said, start singing. You want to get married? He said, start singing. They consulted singers. And they sang their way to beauty. That shall be your Lord's. They sang their way to glory. I said, that shall be your Lord's. And then verse 20 to read the loudest one to go. And when they began to sing and to praise him, what? The Lord set ambushment upon the chain of Ammon, Moab, and Marseille. And they that came against Judah, and they were smitten. Scream a loud amen. All the devils against you shall be smitten today. And then verse 23 and 24 makes it very clear. It said, for the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Marseille. They utterly destroyed themselves. When they had made an end of the inhabitants of the sea, everyone helped to destroy one another. Hello. Everyone targeting your destiny that won't let you go. By divine presence today, they will start destroying one another. Amen. Now read verse 24, the loudest you can, verse 24, want to go. They looked unto the multitude, and behold, what? They were dead bodies to the earth, and none escaped. I prophesy. Starting from this morning, every contention against your advancement in life, the loudest, amen, not one of them shall escape in the name of Jesus Christ. They have vowed to stop you. God will cut them down one by one. I said, they have vowed to stop you. Fearful praise will shut them down one by one. They have vowed that things will not go well with you. The loudest, amen, God will terminate them one by one in the name of Jesus Christ. All that I've said over your, their dead body, will you make progress? Over their dead body, will you get married? The loudest of God will kill them for your life to open up. <laughs> Quickly, what is in praise? What exactly is in praise? One, God is in praise. God is in praise. That means God lives in praise. Psalm 22, verse 3. God lives in praise. That means thou, O Lord, and holy. You inhabit the praise of his people. Praise God and God will show up. Praise God and God will come down. He won't send an angel. He will not just come down. That means God is excited by your praise. God is moved to action by your praise. He moves to favor you. He moves to help you. God is motivated by your praise. As you are singing, God is moving. As you are dancing, God is shaking. As you are dancing, he's stretching his hand. Think about the king in your village. But if there are some things you begin to say in his presence. And say in his presence, he will adjust himself in the chair. And see another one. And call some names, he will lift his hand. And call some names, he will make his hand. And call some names, he will make an order. Even to half of my kingdom. I prophesy your celebration today. What eyes have not seen, what ears have not heard. What men have never imagined, the loudest amen shall be delivered to you for a testimony. God is motivated by praise. God is stimulated by praise. Give him quality praise and God will come down and give you explosive interventions. In Psalm 66 verse 7, Psalm 66 verse 7, Bible shows us that when it comes down, it won't come to just look. He ruled by his power forever. His eyes behold the nations. No one can be rebellious wherever God is standing. He will come down and take care of every rebellion, every contention. He ruled by power. So when God comes down, he comes with his power. He comes with his might. It's coming down for your sake today. I said it's coming down for your sake today. And as he comes down, the king of glory will settle all the battles against your destiny. When the battles come, hand over the battle to God. 
And once the battle is in the hand of God, God will take over. And everything shall be over for your life. Say loud, amen. In Psalm 24, verse 7 to 10, Psalm 24, verse 7 to 10, it said, Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. The King of glory is coming. It's coming for your sake. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. So he comes down as a mighty warrior to do battle for you. Read verse 9 again. One to go. Lift up your heads. Oh, you get. Be you lifted up your everlasting doors. The King of glory is coming. Who is this King of glory? Verse 10. The Lord of hosts himself is come down for your sake. Only him can come down and perfect what concerns a man from March till now. Between now and Shiloh 2019, a roaring amen go with perfect work on Santiago. <laughs> Note, in Thanksgiving, we are appreciating the goodness of God. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for his good, his mercy and just forever. But in praises, we are celebrating the unchangeability of God. The immutability of God. The faithfulness of God. The ever-dependability of God. Malachi 3, 6. I'm the Lord God. I change not. You cannot be come down, cut down. So when you are praising him, you are saying, God, that never changes. Come now and change my story. He will come for your sake today. In the name of Jesus Christ. So you praise him and God cannot resist it. He must come down. You celebrate him, God cannot turn his back. He must appear and clear the obstacles. Today, the King of Glory shall show up for you. Number two, what's in praise? Revelation is in praise. Revelation is in praise. Revelation is in praise. Remember, the toughest of situations in life bounds to the appearance of light. Revelation comes in praise. When God comes down, his voice comes forth. His light comes forth. Darkness shall be humiliated. Anything about the devil is hidden in darkness. But John chapter 1 verse 5 and 9 tells us, this light shines in darkness and darkness cannot handle it. This light shines in darkness. It cannot comprehend it. So every time you praise God, he comes down as the true light to lighten your life. The last darkness you suffer shall be the last one from this morning. I'm not hearing an amen from somebody. In 2 Kings chapter 3, verse 14 to 15, a man was stranded. The king was stranded and consulted the prophet and his team. He said that Elisha said, before the Lord, before whom I stand, were it not because of Jehoshaphat, I will not look towards you. But you want a way out? Verse 15. Read that scripture. Want to go? Bring me a minstrel. And it came to pass. As the minstrel played, the hand of God came down and began to show them the way forward. I prophesy today. Thus said the Lord, every valley shall be filled up for your sake. I prophesy today, every valley shall be filled up for your sake. You may not see the wind, you may not see the rain. But the loudest amen, the valley shall be filled up with water. What you have never seen January till now, I speak by light from heaven. Within the next seven days, it shall be delivered to you and your family in the name of Jesus. Everything that looks like a blockade scream, the loudest amen, it is ended now. Number three, what's in praise? Fresh anointed is in praise. Fresh anointed is in praise. When you celebrate him, Revelation comes, number two, when you celebrate him, fresh oil for fresh anointing, for fresh encounters. The fresher the oil, the fresher the visitations, the fresher the oil, the fresher the testimonies. Some ask them, what's last, when last did they have a testimony? Five years ago, that's not fresh. The one we had this morning is fresh. Just last week, he graduated. I prophesy. 
by the praise of this morning, fresh oil will land from heaven for you. October 2019, order of testimonies. Skim the Lord, testimony shall be delivered to you now. God anoints in praise. God does good things to us, giving us good lives in the midst of praise, giving us great triumph in the midst of praise. You know, David is a man of praise. He kept giving God his praise level, kept going higher and higher and higher, and the testimonies never stopped. In Psalm 92, verse 1 to 2, he says, It's a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. And to sing praise unto the Most High God to show thy loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night. Say loud, Amen. And what happens? Verse 10 to 12. My horn shall be exalted like the horn of a unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Say loud, Amen. You are the next one for fresh oil. And then verse 11 and 12. We're going to read together. Verse 11 and 12. You shall declare, one to go. My eye shall see my desire upon my enemies and my ear shall hear my desire upon the wicked that rise up against me and then verse 12 the Lord has one to go complaining and murmuring is cost in your life here today when you complain you complicate the matter when you complain God turns his back against you and there's nothing that you do that works but the greatest way you can enjoy freshness, it hasn't happened now, it will happen by tomorrow morning. I said, has it happened now, it will happen before the end of the week. I said, has it happened now, it will happen before the end of the month. You want that kind of fresh visitation? The way out. Stop complaining and start celebrating. Stop complaining and start praising him. Stop complaining and start dancing. He said, you'll be anointed with fresh oil. And fresh oil we attract fresh miracles. Fresh oil we attract fresh visitations. A loud amen, your phone will start ringing this morning. The kind of testimony you have never recorded, generate now. A loud amen, it shall be delivered to you. So high praise guarantees high flight in life. High praise guarantees distinction in life. Stop complaining. God hasn't abandoned your case yet. Anything can still happen. That man that she proposed to you, wherever he is on the app, is going to appear this week. I said, that contract that you have been waiting for, wherever it is, I said, it will appear this week. I said, the next seven days, the loudest seven, somebody's story is going to change practically. Next, what's in praise? Signs and wonders in praise. Signs and wonders in praise. Signs and wonders in praise. A praising saint can never be defeated. A praising saint can never be frustrated. Remember, when you start dancing, God comes down. Until God has been defeated, you cannot be defeated. Until God has been frustrated, whether as a church or as a, as a Christian, as long as you are a celebrating one, get ready. God will step in and fight your battle. I'm not hearing you. Amen if you're there. In Exodus chapter 15, verse 11, Exodus 15, verse 11, it says, Who is like unto thee, O Lord? Glorious in holiness, fearful in praises. What? Doing signs and wonders everywhere. We are told in this ministry, from inception to forever, it's a dancing church. It's a rejoicing church. Miracles never stop happening here. It's a dancing church. It's a rejoicing church. It's a celebrating church. And God's presence has never ceased one day. Today we are celebrated in Canaan land. 20 years that the faith tabernacle was built. In one year, nothing failed. Today we are celebrating 30 years that the church landed in Lagos. Arise and get down to Lagos and raise me people. Within 30 years. He has gone from 300. 300 people was where it was, church was when he came to Lagos. And God kept doing sign after sign after sign after sign. We have a city in Canaan today. I prophesy. The God of wonders that has backed up this commission all these years. 
the loudest amen we attend to you from now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every praising saint can end up a sign to his generation. Every praising saint can end up a wonder to his generation. Paul and Silas, they were bound for death. But they celebrated their way to an earthquake. Heaven came down and scattered the earth. Anything can change for your sake. Whoever is sitting on your chair today that won't let you go, whoever has put his leg on your deal today, I declare this week, God will unseat that devil. A louder amen shall give you what is your deal. They had vowed, kill these guys by tomorrow. Acts 16, 25, 26. And at midnight hour, they prayed and they sang praise. The prisoners had them. Mani Abusa. And there was an eruption. And there was an earthquake. Suddenly, that means God does sudden things in praise. God does sudden changes in praise. A loud amen. The kind of celebration that will bring sudden change shall come out of you today in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are ready, your two hands, your two legs, let your amen be the loudest one. Next what is in praise. Praise facilitates fulfillment of prophecy. Praise stimulates fulfillment of prophecy. God has an agenda for your life. This year, that man testified. Whether by the spoken word in scripture the written word from scripture or the one spoken by the mouth of the prophets Luke 8 11 Luke 8 11 Bible says that seed is the word of God that word of prophecy is an infallible word the seed is the word of God can never be altered Psalm 119 verse 89 can never be changed. Incorruptible word. First Peter 1.23 Whatever God has said concerning you this year, if it hasn't happened now, sir, get ready to dance. It's on the way. For your seed to come from the earth and become a tree, it shall, must be watered. How do you water that seed of the world? Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. And as they are dancing, the seed will start bringing forth. As they are dancing, the earth will open. Somebody's going to dance this morning. The earth will open. Financial miracles will answer for you. The earth will open. I say your harvest of miracle jobs will answer for you. The earth will open. Your harvest of turnarounds will answer for you. If you are ready to see God's word answer for you, scream the loudest. Hallelujah. Abraham and Sarah never looked like parents. Abraham has passed Papa Post and then Sarah has passed Mama Post. All the posts have been passed. But Romans chapter 4, Bible tells us. Verse 18, he said, Who believed in hope? We are still going to parent, be parents. God has shown me, so shall our seed be. God has said it, dominion this year. I may not look like it now. Verse 19 says, he said, be not weak in faith. Consider not the body that was dead. 100 years, 90 years, everything dead. Read that scripture, the loudest you can want to go. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. But what? He was strong in faith. Giving glory to God. Giving praises to God. That's what we're ready to call to worship. Giving glory to God. Just glorify God to your next level. Glorify God to the next beauty. Verse 21, be fully persuaded. What God has promised, the Lord, amen, shall perform it for you. Everything is going to turn around for somebody this morning. Lift your two hands, lift your two legs, and make your amen the loudest one. Specifically, therefore, in our services today, we are emphasizing the fact that praise is one vital way to invoke divine presence. Praise in one vital way to invoke divine presence. 
to bring down divine presence. When God comes down, everything answers to your command. Provoking divine presence, when God comes down, everything in place answers to your command. Divinity answers in your humanity. Supernaturality answers in your naturality. God comes down, the earth must tremble. The mighty must bow to the almighty. God comes down, the Red Sea must open up for you. I don't know that sea that is blocking you. Jordan must be driven back. Psalm 114, verse 1 to 3. Psalm 114, verse 1 to 3. He said, when Israel went out of Egypt, the house of Jacob for a people of, out of a strange language, that 114, 1, 2, and 3, Judah was his sanctuary. Israel was his dominion. The sea saw it and fled. Hallelujah. Jordan was driven back. I decree today, by your scattering your leg before the Lord, Every sea shall part for you. Jordan shall be driven back for your fake. The loudest, amen, whatever has defied answer in your life till now, within the next seven days shall be delivered to you. The manifest presence of God guarantees sudden turnaround. The manifest presence of God guarantees sudden turnaround. Verse 7 and 8 of that Psalm 114, it says, Tremble thou art at the presence of God, at the presence of the God of Jacob, who turneth the rock into a standing water and the flinting wall into a fountain of waters. Poverty shall be turned to prosperity today. I said, Shame shall be turned to glory today. Frustration shall return to promotion today. That grave shall open up for your sake. The loudest amen your Lazarus is coming for right now in Jesus' mighty name. In our church in Houston, Texas, a family went from Canaan land to give birth in Texas. As the baby came out, the baby came out dead. No, it cannot be. We have followed this matter for so long. We have waited for so long. Brethren, God said, turn to dancing. And they danced for seven hours and kept singing and kept singing and kept dancing and kept dancing. The baby is alive and growing today. I prophesy. Whatever they have declared a close case in your life, somebody is going to go back with an outstanding miracle of just God. With God's presence, Every opposition is caused. Divine presence is the secret behind exploits in the kingdom. Divine presence is the secret of exploits in the kingdom. Because when God comes down, it comes down in his power. When God comes down, it comes down with his mighty voice. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 29 to 31. His voice makes you more than a conqueror. Isaiah chapter 30, 29 to 31. Isaiah 30, 29 to 31. Bible says there, it said, hope you shall have a song, a holy solemnity and gladness of heart as one that blows the pipe into the mountain of the Lord, the mighty one of Israel. And he shall cause his glorious voice to be heard. Say loud, Amen. It will show for lightning and indignation of anger and the flame of a divine fire and scattering of and tempest and hailstones. And then read verse 31 together, one to go. And through the voice of the Lord, every Assyrian shall be beaten down, smote with a roar. Lift up your two hands and begin to call for God's presence to this morning. Lord, I'm ready to praise you. Let your presence come down. I want to see some exploits in my life. I want some sudden changes in my life. I'm ready to praise you from my heart. I'm ready to celebrate you like never before. I want your favor to answer for me. 
I want you to cause all things that is mine, all things are yours, to answer for me. All things are yours, to answer for me. All things are yours, to answer for me. Lift up your voices. Eliana Malana. Elke Zota Balada Buraka Zatona Minia. Ento Baladaba. Thank you and thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we we'll pray. Remember, Jesus entered into Jerusalem in Matthew chapter 21, verse 8 to 16. And as he entered, who were tearing their clothes and putting on the ground. Blessed Hosanna in the highest. A great multitude were spreading their garments and cutting down trees and dancing and celebrating and shouting and rejoicing. Jesus appeared there and everything buying and selling in their lives were whipped out of their destinies. Everything that was standing against their glory and honor were cast out. I'm speaking as you scatter your leg before the Lord today. Everything buying and selling in your family. That won't let glory and honor answer for you. That won't let favor answer to you. Scream the loudest amen. God will cut them down one by one this morning. You have gone around that mountain long enough. It's time to start seeing some exploits in your life. Favor exploits will answer for you. I said favor exploits will answer to you. Make that amen the loudest. You are going back home with favor. Put your big hands together for the Lord. Quickly, before we start dancing, what are the keys to attracting divine favor? What are the keys to promoting divine favor? I must say, go from here empty handed again this morning. Number one key you must be born again. Number one key. You must be born again. New birth brings us into favor. Righteousness with God brings us into favor. Psalm 5 verse 12. Psalm 5 verse 12. He said the Lord will bless the righteous. With favor he will compass him as with a shield. Stand right with God and God will give you all the attention. Stand right with God and the favor of God will cover you on every side. At home, abroad, in season, out of season, favor shall locate you this morning. I'm not hearing your amen if you're there. I'm not hearing your loudest amen if you're there. The moment the church aligned with God, the moment they began to fall in line with God's plan, Acts chapter, chapter 2, 47, Acts 2 47, Bible says, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord kept adding blessing to their lives. Line up with God. You are too far. Return to me and I will return to you. He said, Many are in church, but their heart is far. Return this morning. You won't struggle again. I'm not hearing you, amen. You can't be under God's evil and be suffering again. The last suffering you had, the last nine months, a loud amen is ending now in the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, serving God and the interest of his kingdom. Serving God and the interest of his kingdom. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Everything that others are dying for shall be added to you. Seek ye first. Go after his kingdom. Operation befriend your neighbor is the simplest, is the cheapest, is the most glorified form of getting souls established in God's kingdom and reward in your direction. Just your neighbor across the road, just your neighbor across your table in the office. I just want to reach out to you today. Things are happening in the midst of God's people. You are the next one for a testimony. Our next Sunday is coming on the vengeance. You have begged on that matter long enough. Let God help you. Your exact neighbor. Just across the road. Just across this road. I just walked out yesterday. Two people are in church today. Just from that, just walking across. Everybody we have people, every place we have people are. Ah, just go after God's purpose for the hour. You won't struggle again. 
the loudest amen by reason of your service of god's kingdom this week next sunday the avengers what eyes have never have never seen what men have never imagined you will stand here to testify as a testimony for you i'm not hearing your loudest amen if you're there just keep going after god it's like compounded interest suddenly the thing we answer for you bishop abuse visit last sunday it's not in any plan as far as we are concerned it's not in the budget anywhere i just got a call on saturday i think late night saturday or early sunday morning i said the bishop will be in your place next week visit here tuesday to wednesday and thursday to sunday is going to be in the very church unprepared for but when god does things he does them suddenly whatever we saw last sunday was planned between tuesday and sunday did god do us well lift your two hands and say thank you jesus i prophesy after that same order every way you have served god from january to now starting from today sudden testimonies will answer for you that phone call you have been waiting for a lot amen it shall come your way suddenly that breakthrough you have been coming for i say shall come your way suddenly the loudest amen your promotion shall be announced very humorously at some point in time as he came into the service on sunday um, one of the i can't remember which was the first time he came before sunday yeah i think whether with workers meeting as he just sat down he saw a carpet we put there he said everybody what's this for i said sir it's just to honor you he said is this what you do normally i said no sir he said everybody the honor is too much remove this thing my friend the honor is too much i speak to you brethren starting from today the kind of miracle God will do for you. You will look and say, ah, ah, this is too much. Receive it in the next seven days in the name of Jesus. I said, receive it the next seven days in the name of Jesus. Receive it the next seven days in the name of Jesus. God did so much. He came in here by earpiece. Was giving the president feedback at every stage. By the time he was going back, Airpiece was supposed to carry him by five o'clock. The ministry aircraft was sent from Kenya land to come and pick him here. He was waiting at 11 o'clock. Waited till three o'clock when we went to the service. God said to me, if that's not honor, tell me what it is. I prophesy. The kind of honor that is bigger than your size. Bigger than your imagination. What men have never thought can be your level. Jump on your pit and scream it. We arrive for you before next Sunday. <laughs> Lift up your voice and call for the unthinkable to answer for you this week. Unimaginable. That phone call that will open you up finally. That email that will cancel stress in your life. I've been serving God from January to now. Favor must answer for me this week. I've been serving God. Beauty must answer for me this week. Lift up your voices. God must bypass protocol to change your story this week. I'm serving God. I'm serving the interest of his kingdom. I mustn't beg any devil. October 2019, all things are mine. Lift up your voice. And call for that visitation you have been waiting for all this time. Call for that honor you have been waiting for all this time. Call for that glory your family has been waiting for all this time. I'm ready to obey you. To dance my dances. I'm ready to obey you. For madness in celebrating this morning. I'm ready to obey you. For explosive rejoicing. Yet I will rejoice. Yet I will rejoice. Yet I will rejoice. Oh God, I'm set to throw my garments and welcome the Messiah. To throw my clothes and welcome the Savior this morning. I'm long overdue for celebration in my family. I'm long overdue for next level as an announcement. I must go back with a trial fund entry into my next level this week lift up your voices 
Ah, ah, Leria, Noma, El Casosa, Niriama, God's prophetic agenda, October 2019, must answer for me. Must answer for me. Must answer for me. Must answer for me. Lift your voices. Don't negotiate with any devil. I'm not negotiating the future of my children with any devil. I'm taking my due this morning. I'm not negotiating the future of my family with any manipulator. I curse you this morning. Only God can do it. God is all I have. God is all I need. And God is more than enough. God is all I have. God is all I need. My God is more than enough. The God of Bishop David Oedeko is more than enough. The God of Bishop David Abioye is more than enough. The God of the liberation mandate is more than enough. The God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ is too faithful to fail. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob can do it again. I'm sad to celebrate him. I'm sad to forget myself and do for God what only he can do for me. Thank you and thank you and thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. The loudest amen, every wall of Jericho that won't let you go. They shouted and they shouted and they shouted and Jericho was buried. Let your shouting be the loudest one. Every Jericho who shall, shall be buried today. I'm not sure you heard me. They shouted and shouted. The wall was buried and they took the city. Come on. 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 Jump on your feet and shout the shout of trial this morning. You will never negotiate your future with any devil again in the name of Jesus God. Therefore, I want to invite some special people. Come unto me, all that labor and are choking. I will give you rest. Come and lay it at the feet of Jesus, and every unrest shall be laid to rest. You are struggling too much. You are suffering too much. You can't have a Savior that paid the price for you to recover your destiny, and you are in shame again. All that are choking, all that are being pressed down, all that are frustrated, today is your day of salvation. Well, except the man be born again, you will suffer again. But today can be your day of deliverance. Be you reconciled to God. Wherever you are under the sound of my voice, you are tired of where you are. You want a better life. Lift your right hand and surrender to Jesus. I want a better life. Lift your right hand and surrender to Jesus. I want a brighter life. I don't want to suffer again. Jesus, save me. I surrender to you. If you are there, pick up your bag and Bible. The choir would sing. Come out here quickly. And I'm going to pray for you. Run to Jesus. I want to specially invite you. Pick your bag and Bible. I don't want to be a victim again. I need deliverance. Rush out here very quickly. I need deliverance. Rush out here very quickly. I need salvation. The more you clap, the faster they come. Choir sing as they come. Come and see the light. The light of God. Keep clapping, keep come clapping as they come. The light of God. Amen. Come and see the light, the light of God. Come and see the light of God. Come on, come on, come on. Come and see the light.
Come and see the light of the Lord. Amen. I want to call again passionately. You have been saved before. You lost it. You can be reconciled back to God now. Don't let the devil mess you up again. Rush out here now. You want to get your joy restored. Get your peace restored. Get your life restored. Pick your bag and Bible. And come and rededicate your life to God for a new beginning. Sing that song two more times. And pick your bag and rush out here. Forget your neighbor. Pick your bag and Bible and rush out here. Sing that song Jesus two more times. Jesus is the light. Come the on. light of God. Come on. Jesus come is on. the light of God. Church, be seated and get your dancing shoes together. We are going to enter explosive dancing shortly. You will dance your dances. Meanwhile, pick up your copies of the Expressing God in Action. It's always our prophetic mantle every Sunday morning to have God speak good words into your life. We send them forth. They are blessed in Jesus' name. My friends in front, lift your right hand to Jesus and say after me, say, Lord Jesus, I surrender. Forgive me my sins. Blood of Jesus, deliver me now. I open up my heart and I receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord. Right now, I am born again. I'm free from sin. I'm a child of God. All things are passed away and all things have become new. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me in Jesus' mighty name. Put your right hand on your heart. Father, I pray for this, your sons and daughters. Give them a brand new heart. Give them a brand new life. Give them a brand new beginning. From today, all things are passed away. All things have become new. The last trouble you saw in your life shall be the last one. You are blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Say a loud amen. You're welcome. Today is a day of favor. Favor shall go back home with you. Whatever you lost shall be recovered. And please come again next Sunday. It shall be a day of vengeance. God will take over your battle and give you victory. This month of October, you will celebrate. Make that amen loudest. Meanwhile, the pastors have a special time with you. They have some instructions for you. Follow their instruction. You will never see destruction. The next time I see you, you'll be celebrated. You're welcome. Turn around, please. Follow the pastors. Church, are you clapping? Big, big, big. Get out of your dancing shoes. And we're going to celebrate God. And I'd like you to know, there's one man's throne that Jesus said is forever. They call his name David. In 2 Samuel, the Bible says, 2 Samuel chapter 6, verse 14, Bible says, David danced with all his might. Second Samuel chapter 6, verse 14. David danced with all his might. He was, Second Samuel 6, 14, he got mad in praise with God. Lord, only you can make it for me. Read that scripture, one to go. And David danced before the Lord with all his might. Even his dress was falling down. His wife said, what kind of king is this? If it was my father now, he'd be moving very gently as a king. That's why they killed him. Move very gently. That's how king move very gently. How can this rascal king? That's why they killed him. But the one that was scattering, his throne is forever. The one that was rolling, his throne is forever. The loudest remember you're dancing this morning. A transgenerational blessing will land for somebody in the name of Jesus Christ. The kind of healing that will change your story forever. Make that amen. Lord, it shall go back home with you today in Jesus' mighty name. Get the books of the month also. Understand the power of praise, the wonders of praise, and get yourself into it. If you are ready for that dancing. Amen. Meanwhile, those that are working with us for the very first time on a Sunday morning, we'd like to recognize you specially. We had prayed for you earlier, but we want to have you appear at the altar to go back home with your own wonder package. If today is your very first time on a Sunday morning, can you stand to your feet? 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 God bless you. Celebrate them. Welcome them. Welcome them. Welcome them. God bless you. Pick your bag and Bible. Come to the altar here. You do your dancing at the altar. Welcome them and celebrate them. Big, big hands as they come. Big, big, big hands. Big, big hands. Give God a shout of praise. Everybody jump on your feet and scream. I'm sure we are ready to explore. 
Go up, do your leg, move your leg, move your body to show God I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm ready. Come on, give God a shout. Tell your neighbor, give me some space. Don't let me and God this morning. No shaking, no shaking. Don't let me and God this morning. Now the next 10 minutes, only you and your God explode and roll and dance and shake and shout. Only you, only God can do it. Give it to him this morning. Jump on your feet and swim. Let's go. You are good and your mess is forever. We are warming up. We are warming up. We are warming up. So open up the dancing floor this morning. All dickies and dickinesses come to the front. You are the one opening the floor. All the
the dis and dignesses appear at the altar. They are the ones opening the floor. All those here for the first time, see what God always does for us. Don't you like to belong to this kind of family? You came here today as a visitor. You are going back as a testimony. Next Sunday, come back as a member of the family. God will do you good in Jesus' name. Amen. Bow your heads and ask God for something special. Something that they say only God can do for you. Ask him. God, do it for me. 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 What they say only God can do for your children. What they say only God can do for you. Thank you and thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Father, these are your sons and daughters that are here for the first time. Give them speedy miracles. Give them speedy testimonies. Give them speedy breakthroughs. Give them speedy promotions. God at work in the midst of praise. Answer them with seven days miracles in the name of Jesus. I call you blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Open your eyes. Don't miss next Sunday. By the time you come next Sunday, you'll be laughing like me. God bless you. Meanwhile, we have a welcome package for you. Follow this. Why don't you pass through this way? Follow these pastors. They will attend to you. And then, the next time I see you, you'll be celebrating. Church, are you coming for them as they go? Bigger, better, bigger, better. All dickies and dickies upon the floor. And as you are dancing, check yourself. Miracles are happening already. Healings are happening already. Favor is happening already. Somebody taking your own speed. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh yeah, Oh, yeah, the 
for you and your family within the next seven days it will land for you as a testimony whatever you have been dancing God looking at that matter you dance looking at that matter you dance looking at that matter I declare a screaming amen is your answer for an instant miracle for you every grave over you and your family has opened now in the name of Jesus Business grave, fine marital grave, family grave, grave of your health. And loud amen, death is destroyed in your car. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. 20 years of faith tabernacle, not one thing has failed. 30 years in Lagos, it has been exploded. Stretch your hands here. I decree after the order of that visitation. Because you and I are sons and daughters of the prophets. Because you and I have an inheritance in this commission. The next 20 years, your destiny shall be exploded. The next 30 years, global impact shall be your surname. I say starting from this minute, starting from this moment, the loudest amen, God will announce your destiny. God will broadcast your business. God will broadcast the works of your hands. Be healed today in the name of Jesus. Be delivered today in the name of Jesus. Whatever tying your daughter down, tying your son down, tying your children down, tying your family down, that will let you enjoy the blessings of God. No job, no financial favor, no breakthrough. I declare seven days of financial favor for you. Seven days of marital favor for you. Seven days of favor concerning your health. Seven days of favor by the works of your hands. Lift your two hands, make your amen loud as it starts right now. Receive it in the name of Jesus. All that I vowed I will not go well with you. I declare in 24 hours. You will look for them, you will not find them anymore. Make that amen screaming and vengeance will answer for you. I decree all things are yours. 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 Whatever you are due for, due to you as breakthrough, due to you as healing due to your promotion you have been waiting for so long i decree go and take it in the name of jesus if it's yours for the taking jump and scream it answers now it is done check yourself many have miracles how many have testimonies already check yourself just rush out here in one minute and then we'll celebrate with you and we're done for the day something great has happened you want to just say thank you jesus i want to celebrate just step back here pastors will pick them very quickly 
and then we shut down for the first service. Sing one, two minutes, and then we are done. Please get back to your seats in case you have done so well. In the second service, how many are youths here? You are youthful and you are youthful. How many are youths? Youth are lying. You are young and you are lying. Your two hands, your two legs, let your amen be the loudest one. You are the one taking the floor in the second service. Youth alive will be in full manifestation second service. Youth alive shall be in full manifestation. Meanwhile, you have a testimony, just rush out here. One minute. Amen. Rush out here, rush out here, rush out here. Choir. Oh yeah, one minute. Everybody look, look, see what the Lord has done. Look, look, see what the Lord has done. Everybody look. Look and see what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. I said, see what the Lord has done. 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 I said, see what the Lord has done. The Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. I said, see what the Lord has done. Everybody look, 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 look and see what the Lord has done. Especially God in action, it is blessed in Jesus' name. And don't go back with your offering. The same presence of God here, the same glory of God here, the same favor of God here. We answer by your finances in the name of Jesus. I'm not hearing you, amen. And next Sunday, we're going to take once again our special offering for the captivity turning, for making things happen in this church, for taking care of those in need amongst us, for the welfare. Next Sunday, we're going to take that special offering along with our worship offering. And God will bless you as you be a part of it. Come with your worship offering and your special captivity turning offering. And God will bless you. Let's hear these testimonies and we are good to go. Very fast, please. Once you announce your name, please come up here and then we'll celebrate with you. Once you announce your name, come up. Once you go. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ejim Konya Emmanuel came with sickness and on the instance of the praise, God terminated. It. Are you clapping for Jesus? Step here. Up, 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 up a bit, up a bit. Good. Next, the corners Ijoma Chukuka Dibia. Yes. God confirmed her healing after Amen. two days. Amen. Are you clapping for Jesus? Never again. It's over forever. Chuku Ebuka Justice came with Qatar and sneezing for about one week, but gone at the instant. Has cleared it. It dried up. It dried up. Never again. And brother Ben Shango came with severe back ache for one week, destroyed in the midst of high praise. Are you clapping? Jump on your feet and scream. All these testimonies are permanent in the name of Jesus. You will never see that trouble in your life again. Only new things shall answer for you. Get back to your seats. God bless you. Celebrate them with a clap of an amen. Lift your two hands. Go in peace. I declare the loudest amen, seven days of fever will answer for you. Everything due to you by phone call, it will land. Everything due to you by email, it will land. That agent of favor that God has arranged for you this month, it will knock your door by tomorrow morning. Whatever is your long overdue testimony, long overdue favor, scream the loudest, you shall not miss it this morning. You shall not miss it tomorrow morning. You shall not miss it before Sunday morning. 
the Lord has said, I receive it in the name of Jesus. The week is blessed. It's your week of divine favor. I said, the week is blessed. It's your week of divine favor. The week is blessed. It's your week of divine favor. The Lord has said, man, take it in the name of Jesus. You are blessed. Remember, Wednesday service, don't miss it. It's always a time of receiving health, strength, and a family longevity. And then all the soul winning squad have their visitation from heaven, 7 o'clock next Saturday.